Today, Miyamoto Musashi. What I have learned in the French Foreign Legion, my best times I ever had in the Légion Étrangère. Forget who you are, forget what you have done, you are in the Legion now. This word was, was spoken by a Kapra chef when I engaged myself in the French Foreign Legion in February uh, 1985. And I still have these words in, uh, in my head, you know. And uh, as you know better than I do, actually since uh, the 17th of March, the doors from the pill, from the recruiting and um, from the desk and recruiting office for the French Foreign Legion are closed due to the coronavirus. But um, you can easily join the French Foreign Legion via Facebook and via internet. Just Google and you're, you're there. Yeah. Uh, today I will talk to you about uh, some moments in my life as a legionnaire when I can say uh, these are the best moments I lived within the French Foreign Legion. And it's not only, it's not always about fighting, you know. Uh, it's not always about Baga or Kassel people. Uh, sometimes in life, uh, what concerns me, it's the small things who are very important and very, uh, very rich uh, in life experience. You know, I'm a type of man who can easily, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a crowd of people, uh, kneel down on the road, take an ant between uh, my fingers and look, an ant, you know, and, and it's amazing. It's, it's a small universe I, ha I ho hold in my hand and I look and I, it's just great and I leave it and the animal, the animal goes away. The, the ant can go away. It's still living, you know. And sometimes I uh, kneel down on, on the border of a road, a small road, and and, uh, and there's a flower growing, you know, a, a red flower, red or white or yellow flower. And it's just wonderful. I look at the flower and say, "This is great. Life is great," you know. So, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of a partisan for small things that makes me happy. Yeah, and this happened, these things happened to me very often in the French Foreign Legion. So it's not always about fighting, battle and baga and, and, and stuff like this, you know. Uh, and I remember very well once when I had been in French Guiana for two years from 1985 to 1987, we made a stage commando, a commando course. It was in Martinique. I think it was about 126 infantry regiment, French, whatever. and. And the commander course was very, very hard. And uh, when the commander course was over, you know, we, we made the course with a Dutch unit, with a Dutch unit. Uh, when the commander course was over, we, we, we have been a, a bunch of, of, of brothers, you know, <laughs> the, the third company from the, for the, the third section from the third company. And when the commander course was over, we has had three days off. Three days off, we was um, in a French army quarter somewhere in, I think, in Guadeloupe, and we had three days nothing to do. I remember very well that we have been uh, in a room. Me, next to my bed, there was Chagnon. Somewhere there was Oliver the Wilkins, and uh, maybe four or five uh, legionnaires in one room, and we had nothing to do. You know, during two years, we battled, we struggled, we marched through the jungle with 50 kilos on our back. We made instruction, we, uh, you know, always in a hurry, always in a hurry, always in a hurry. Quick, 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 and do, 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 and more, 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 and fast, fast, fast. And then, suddenly, three days, nothing, off. And these three days has been one of the best moments in my life in the French Foreign Legion. You know, I remember... I was lying on my bed the whole day. I stood up for breakfast, I stood up for lunch, I stood up for dinner. But out of these times, I was lying on my bed and I, I had a book in my hand and it was Musashi Miyamoto. I'm sure you know this, this uh, Japanese sword fighter. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, Musashi Miyamoto, you know, I have a sword here, like this, you know. And uh, this word uh, was a present for me from my from my uh, brothers <laughs> in arms in second rep, you know. And um, 
I read Musashi Miyamoto, and while I'm, I while I was reading this wonderful book, I thought by myself, "Wow, you are here, and you come down, and you must do nothing." And it was just a great experience. And I was reading the book, and while reading the book, every I I was transformed like. Somebody who was in the book. It was so real for me, you cannot believe it. And every time I turned a page and I read, I turned a page, I read, I recognized myself. It was me in the book. The book was me. And I was so, uh, so, uh, uh, how can I tell you? Y you know, I was like, like somebody sitting on a lodge, looking downward to, to the scene of operations. And down there, and in the scene of operation was me, but up there it was me also. So I was spectator, and I was so captured by the book. It was just great. And in the book, I read a lot of things I could easily identify because I was a legionnaire, and I went through a lot, a lot of things I read actually in the book. It was stunning. It was great, you know. And um, and I uh, I suddenly uh, knew that. The legion teach me a lot of things. The legion teach me that, and, and it was also things I read in the book. Yeah, so it was similar to the book, and it was me, and it was my life in the legion and the legion. And the, the legion teach me always. Uh, there's always a way to follow. Never give up. There is no impossible. No, you know, you can always have a solution for whatever problem, and. Um, and the Legion teach me also that, like the book, like the book did, that in a life of a, of a strong man, you can be courage, you can be courageous, but you always, but there's also a time for fear, you know, there's also a time for fear. Sometimes you are in a situation uh, that you cannot stand up because you, because you have doubts, you, you don't, are, you are, you're not courageous. But when you do the first step in life, you will find a way. So before, before starting marching, you're lost. You don't know where to go. You don't know how to do. But then you stand up and you, lead and you go. And then you will find your way. The way opens in, fr in front of your eyes while marching. And this is what the religion teach me. And this is a great, uh, great experience. You know? And the religion teach me that if you are uh, countering an adversary, uh, an enemy, who is stronger than you, it's not always necessary to fight. You can turn the back and leave. Yeah? So if you don't have a chance to win the fight, just smile, turn, the, turn around and leave. It's not worthy. It's not worthy. You know? I remember very well the, the words of uh, Colonel Puga. He was uh, our... Uh, chef de corps, uh, commander in chief in the second rep, when we was an intervention in Brazzaville in Congo, and he once uh, hold, hold a, uh, a meeting with all NCOs and all officers uh, in, in the big room, and he told us, "Listen, gentlemen, when Paris orders that we are making war, we are the f fucking best warriors, soldiers of the world, and there will not be a better soldier." better soldiers than we that we are but when paris gives us the order to clean all the shitholes in paris we are the best shithole cleaners of the world and there will not be better shithole cleaners in the world as we are so what he meant by this is that we can do everything everything is worthy to be done there are not small things to be done or big missions to be done everything what we do is important. Everything what you do is important. And this is just a great, great experience. You know? And I learned in the French religion, when I was afraid, there was always, always somebody there who came to me and said, Hey Tom, do not be afraid. You are on your right way. It's good. Just believe. Have faith. Yeah? And, uh, and, this, is, and this, is, this was a very strong message for me. Believe me, yeah. And uh, by the way, I'm absolutely sure. 
that you are the same guy as I am. You can do everything. You can achieve everything in life. Just stand up and march and you will find the way. You will find your way. You can do everything. You are strong. Have a look in the mirror. What do you see? Open your eyes and have a look and look clearly. And you will find in your eyes a man who can do everything. Yeah? If you just want to do it. And this is what the Legion teaches me. And this is what you should learn by having a look in the mirror. You are the man. You can do. You are strong. Just stand up and go. And the way is there. Yeah? Sometimes in life we have to stop while marching. Sometimes we have to take new decisions. But then when we have, when we have taken a new decision, we go on straight away. We go on marching and we never doubt. Even the way the decision we made was good, even the decision we made was wrong. But we don't stop because we took the decision and even if we have to, 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 to die because we took a decision, whether we go out of the battle as the winner, it's not important. The importance is that we make our decision and we go our way, our way, whatever, whatever the circumstances, you know? <laughs> That's the point. And, uh, and while reading Miyamoto Musashi, all these things also has been in the book. And all these things has been on my path while crossing the Legion Etrangère, the Legion Etrangère. It was just stunning. And I was lying there on my bed and I was reading a book and I was, and, and, and I was say, saying to myself, yes, that's it, that's life. So I can battle, I can struggle, but I also can come down. There's a time for everything in life. You know, there's a time for fear, a time for courage, a time for action, a time for nothing doing. Uh, but this is not the point. It's not uh, nothing doing. We are always prepared to, you know, just lying on a bed, bed and the time passed by. No, it's not this. It's lying somewhere, reading a book and being prepared for everything. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> so I want you today to stand up and go your way because it's your way. It's right. It's the right way. And you can follow your path in life. And that's it. And that's what the Legion teaches me. Thanks for the time you are giving me, brothers in arms. Amitié, légionnaire, yours, Thomas Gatta. Bye bye. Hey. <laughs> and uh, a song. You want to hear a song from me <laughs> for uh, to finish this one? Uh, when I left the French Foreign Legion, no, when I left uh, my civil life, I turned the back to a lot of things and I. I went directly from the boot camp to French Guyana. And this was an, uh, uh, a story like leaving my home country, leaving Europe. And that's why I, the song I sing today for you, it's Adieu Vieille Europe. Goodbye, farewell, old Europe. Adieu Vieille Europe. Quelle diable importe. Adieu, vieux pays, oh le ciel, si brûlant dans l'Algérie. Adieu, souvenir, notre vie va finir, il nous faut du soleil.